am currently the heaviest I have ever been. And for the most part, I'm okay with that. G'day everyone and welcome back to another Catch Up with Kiralee. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kiralee and on this channel we talk about all things cosplay, costuming and sewing related. And today we're talking about weight, weight gain, weight loss, all those things that get us a little self-conscious at times. And yes, as I sit here in front of you, I am the heaviest I have ever been, which is a little bit of an uncomfortable fact, but also I have just come back from the US where I had an amazing time. So I really can't be too sad about it. Plus also, I've always been a little bit bigger, I suppose. Like when I was in primary school and I was doing dance class, my nickname was Hamburger because I had a pot belly. When I was in high school, when everyone else was like a size eight or 12, eight to 10 as they're going through puberty. I was a size 12. Even at Levers, one of my friends, Levers is the party that we have after year 12, you know, uh, one of my friends came up to me and said, Kiralee, you'd make a really good rugby player. You have the build for it. <laughs> but basically I've always been mid-size or, you know, potentially plus size, depending on the context in which my body is being in. So let's talk about weight and cosplay, shall we? The very first thing that I want to say, point one is weight fluctuation is completely normal. Let's just put that out there in the open and make everyone completely on the same page. Weight fluctuation, whether it's gaining weight or losing weight, it is completely normal, especially if you're a woman and especially as you get older. Point number two, is that it works both ways. So we're not just talking about people who are gaining weight, even though I think that's where most of us kind of fall under. When we gain weight, we don't feel great, but there's also people who can't gain weight. And for them, that can be off, often a thing that causes them a lot of self-consciousness as well, because, you know, they may be very, very skinny and they would like to have a few curves. So when we're talking about cosplay and weight, I think it's important that we acknowledge that there are two sides to this story. Point number three, in regards to weight and cosplay, you must remember always that the first rule of cosplay is cosplay should be fun. You should be able to cosplay whichever character you like, regardless of weight, gender, race, whatever. It doesn't matter. Cosplay is for anyone. I keep on saying it and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Your weight should not dictate which characters you should do. Which brings me to point number four, and that is you should feel confident and comfortable in your body whilst you are cosplaying. And what I mean by that is if there is a character that has this really cool cosplay, but you're looking at it and you're thinking, you know what, I don't feel like my body would look good in that cosplay, adjust it. You can adjust cosplay. Cosplay should be whatever you want it to be. And so if you want to make some adjustments, do so. I know that for some of my cosplays, where there has been areas of skin that are meant to be seen and I don't feel comfortable showing those pieces of skin, aka like on my stomach, I will certainly make sure that I have some sort of like skin colored mesh over the top so that everything is enclosed, shall we say. And smooth. Everyone likes when it's smooth. Tip number five, don't listen to negativity. We only live life once. Do not give any credit. Do not give any respect to anyone who feeds you negativity. Not to be confused with constructive criticism that you've asked for, but if they're just giving you constructive criticism or criticism without you asking for it, nah, that's negativity. Thank you, goodbye. Surround yourself with good people and good groups that will continue to support you and love you for that which you put out there. And as we know, this is the age of social media and everything goes online. If you have people who are keyboard warriors typing their little hateful messages, they're cowards. They don't deserve any of your respect. Don't worry about what they say. They would never say it to your face. And if they did, punch them out. <laughs> 
no, no. Here on Corelli Cosplay, we don't advocate violence. Just saying. Mm. But also, they would never say it to you in person because they are cowards. But if someone said anything to you in person about your weight, <laughs> oh, you could have a field day, my friend. A field day. Have fun with it. Make them feel really uncomfortable. I'll leave that to your imagination to decide what I mean by that. And tip number six, do not let yourself tell you negative things about your body. It is true, we are our own worst critics when it comes to ourselves, our cosplay, our bodies, everything. Regardless of whether you've gained weight or you are struggling to gain weight, it is important that you acknowledge that your body is amazing and it's strong and it's beautiful. You have to thank it for the amazing job that it's done so far to get you where you are now and to, to acknowledge that you need to respect it to get it to where you need it to be or where you want it to be. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are incredible, and your body is your temple. Keep being amazing and only move towards weight loss or weight gain if you wanna do that, or if your doctor tells you that you need to. Listen to doctors. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. It's been good to have another little chat with you all. Make sure you leave us a comment. You know, if you want to share your stories, by all means, please do. And make sure you like, subscribe and all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.